What is going on, guys, and welcome back to the 49ers franchise. We are 3-5. and five. Of course, we don't play every single game, but it's gone okay so far. The Seahawks are 6-3. and three. We are just about second in the division. Rams are 3-4-1, and one. and um, we have beaten them. We did it in a large fashion as we lost 17-14 to the Packers. That was an interesting game, I'm sure. The Cardinals are on our schedule in Week 10. I'm going to upgrade our players a little bit, see if we can make these guys better. All right, team is upgraded a bit. Maybe we'll be a 77 overall. Nope, still 76. Cardinals are an 84. This should be a closer game. I mean, it depends on who the Cardinals quarterback is and how well he plays. By their record, I would say that it probably isn't Carson Palmer, but it might be. I'm not really sure. Here we are. We're going to be kicking off to start the game. As it seems like we always do. And the wind again is, uh, is out in full effect. The wind is always like 11 plus miles per hour. David Johnson is going to be the guy that gets the ball every single play uh, for the Cardinals this time. As Carson Palmer is their quarterback. They are 1-7 with Carson Palmer though. Let's go ahead and see how we play this game. It's going to be stop David Johnson. And they're not even going to run with him first play. They're going to lob the ball up. And they find John Brown. He takes a hit. He pays for catching the ball. But he held on. I'm not even sure if I introed this video. It doesn't matter. As uh, we're going to have to wrap up David Johnson there. Not possible with uh, our outside corner there. That was Willis Burdine, I'm pretty sure. <sighs> You've been lackluster. We still have no cornerback interceptions on the season. Which uh, could eventually change. I don't know. Doesn't look like it will. Still trying to break tackle or shed blocks. David Johnson's going to be a problem. I can guarantee you that much. Let's play good defense. Let's put pressure on the quarterback. Let's force turnovers. Throw the ball at me. That's to the outside. <laughs> Willis Burdine's in another time zone. Granted, he was in a deep zone there. I'm going to start putting out hard flats on every play, and if it comes back, comes back to bite me, like so be it. But so often, the CPU goes right to the flat, and it's wide open every single time. So... I'm just going to run hard flats. Just all game. Maybe that's how we get our first interceptions with our cornerbacks. Oh, that's got to be an interception. You're kidding me. Didn't get an animation. I felt like I was all over that. Going to be third in inches. It's like uh, TJ Logan's in the game. To run, to run, to... It's wide open up the middle. TJ Logan was not touched. He was not touched. No one even thought about touching him. No one was in the same area code as TJ Logan. They were just spread out. He parted him like Moses and the Red Sea. Which I guess Cardinals and 49ers are red. And uh, they parted the Red Sea of 49ers. It was disgusting. We're going to look to establish the run early. And uh, tried to bounce it outside, but it said, Nope, you're running exactly where I tell you to. It doesn't matter what you input on your controller. Fantastic. That was real seamless. Love it. Second and 14. I'm going to run the ball again. Looking for a gap. Looks like we found one. Sanchez. Not Sanchez. He need Joey Cummings. I have no idea what my players' names are. Yeah, we're really going to come out, run the ball three times to start the game. And it pays off. Joey Cummings spins out nobody. Really expected the safety to take another route. Uh, I didn't even say. Like, there's two ways to pronounce that word. There's route and there's root. And I had a weird combo of the two, which is not one of them. But yeah, took a weird ride to the ball carrier. Didn't expect to try to spin him out where I thought he was going to be. And we're going to go over the top. Make a play. Marquise Goodwin. That ball is overthrown a lot. Um, probably should never even thrown that ball is the reality. But we went for it. Just didn't happen to pay off. We're going to try to uh, be a little bit more careful with the football and have a better game with Jimmy Garoppolo. Because uh, usually it's one touchdown, two interceptions. And a lot of it is the game screwing me up. Is Josh Gordon going to stay on his feet? Does anyone want to block? Get tickets to the game if you're going to stand around and watch. Are you kidding me? Josh Gordon could have taken that all the way back across the field. Offensive linemen are like, oh, this could be very interesting. Block. I'm going to roll out. Send him upfield. Lob the ball in there. It's a perfectly thrown ball. Joey Cummings inside the five. 
he came in there really hard all over the Cardinals and um, managed to hold on to it, reel it in. First and goal. That was a money shot right there for Joey Cummings. And I wanted to throw that ball. Roll out, roll out with me. Duck it. Orleans Darkwa gets the touchdown catch. Imagine Orleans Darkwa of all players. The backup running back to get the first touchdown of the day for the 49ers. And it's a reception. Very odd start. I'll take it. 7-all. Very interesting game between the 49ers and the 1-7 and seven Cardinals. Oh, I, I bit hard. I bit hard and then didn't commit. And that is, what is Willis Burdine doing, dude? He was in good coverage there and, didn't, and just came down. I gotta, I'm gotta. i going to go to replay mode. Um, anytime something ridiculous happens, I touch my face like it's nobody's business. Check this out. He's going to come back across the field here. Look at Willis Burdine in coverage. He tracks... I don't know. He tracks the tight end and just... He doesn't drop back far enough. I don't know. I thought I thought he did something weirder than that. But uh, you got to play that better, please. I also should have gotten a sack on the quarterback. I just... Uh, I didn't commit down. I should have. That's going to be a run when I get tripped up. Good tackle, though. That's a fantastic play by Aaron Lynch. I said I was going to run hard flats the entire game. I don't run hard flats. I throw the flat. It makes sense. Is he going to come back across the field? He's not. It's a, it's a run. It's a play action. I'm stuck on a block. That's wide open. Mel ah! That's me. That's me. It's Obi Melifonwu. Uh, that's me. I tried to lay a huge boomstick, and it was a miscalculation on my part. It's about as much as I can give you in terms of insight into the uh, maniacal brain. It is uh, mine. I gotta play that less aggressive in that situation. Just got just got way too aggressive, and uh, the calculated risk was miscalculated. Wow, that's an even worse spin than I've ever seen Marquise Goodwin do. Aaron Merritt might just stick to defense, not throwing into too many tight windows, letting the players make the plays after the catches. Kalan Atkins, checking into the game. You probably know I'm gonna throw him the ball because I do like every time he checks in. He's actually wide open though. He makes a diving catch. That's what I'm talking about. If that's a good throw, by the way, that's probably a touchdown. First down, though. Adkins going to stay in the game. Is that Pat Pete? That's definitely Pat Pete covering him. We might give him a shot. We're going to give him a shot. Kalan Adkins, go up and get it over Pat Pete. Of course not. All right. We got to take chances on first down. Third and nine. Throw it quickly. It's Jonu Smith. He gets the first down. Jimmy Garoppolo having, without a doubt, his best game of the season, uh, even without a touchdown pass so far. 8 for 10 with yardage. So uh, better than the usual numbers, I will say. We, we've been careful with the football. We're going to throw that ball, though. And that's picked off by Pierre Paul. Oh! You had to know the first interception was coming. Trey Pierre Paul. It's not a real guy. Third interception on the season. Let's go ahead and take a look about how it happened. So, was clearly going for Josh Gordon on the streak. Saw the separation here. Tried to pass lead back shoulder. Ball's in the air at this point. Tried to pass lead about here. This is where I wanted the football. Lead him into this area. But, uh, nope. Pass is read really, really well by Pierre Paul. And, um... You know, probably underthrown a little bit. But great play on the football. Great play. And um, the interception is made. That is a real, real drive killer. That sucks. Quincy and Noon was on the Cardinals. Interesting. Let me play action. We're trying to get there with Ruben Foster. Can't. Oh. That is so unfortunate. Carson Palmer is tearing us apart. We're trying to get so many yards so quickly. And it's maybe not the best way to do it. Like we do have time. We're going to go Jonu here. There it is. That ball's underthrown and Jonu Smith drops the ball. I hate that so much. All the time when I try to lead players like Jonu Smith happens, the ball's always very slightly underthrown, and it's so frustrating. It's so incredibly frustrating. We're, we're going to duck this down. There's Marquise Goodwin. He's fast, but not apparently fast enough to outrun Jalen Watkins. Throw the ball. And then not get any yards. It's going to be Joey Cummings. Tried to spin back. He just didn't spin. 
I really have no answers for that. I can only press the buttons that make the buttons do the thing, and he just doesn't do the thing. Am I turning to Bill Cosby? It wasn't even an impression. I was just kind of talking like him, uh, but not the voice, of course. We're going to throw this ball. Burn him. Sanchez Heaney. It's a great toss by Jimmy G, per usual. From the 38, fourth and eight. How do we want to play this? We're not close enough to where uh, this is worth going for and giving up potential points in the process. We're just going to punt the ball with Bradley Pinion. That is a boomer. And um, not that far, actually. A little bit too far to the right. They're probably just going to need the ball or something or run it out. Yeah, I doubt they even call this play. Carson Palmer taking a sweet time to get up to the line. And that is going to be the half. We do get to return, so we're in a good spot in that position. We are down by 10 to the 1-7 and seven Cardinals. This is not a game we can afford to lose, especially a division matchup. If we want to make the playoffs, which we still do. And uh, nowhere to go. No blocks picked up. The most important player to be blocked. Not blocked. I feel like we always get away from running the ball. And that's on me. But we got to start doing that a bit more. Especially with Joey Cummings. That's a really good spin move between the tackles. I mean, we've carried it seven times with Joey Cummings. So, I mean, maybe it's not that. Maybe find Sanchez Heaney. We're going to find Sanchez Heaney. Diving catch. What a play. Going into the hurry up. Sanchez Heaney could be open again. I keep going back to this streak. But there's never any separation. We're going to throw that ball. Perfect spot, Sanchez Heaney. Another diving catch. And he was he was getting up and ready to go. All right. All right, first and ten. Oh, my goodness. Yo, can Chandler... Chandler Jones has three sacks. Maybe the best player on the defense gets blocked once. I mean, there's Patrick Peterson, but in the front seven. Uh, he's pretty much, without a doubt, the best player. And, um, uh, yeah, he's just not blocked ever. Cool, all right. Second and 16. We have a little bit of move here. A little bit of room, I should say. Whatever I'm talking playing at the same time, I become uh, pretty stupid. Third and four. What's open? That's open. Throw the ball! Dion Buchanan picks up the sack. Dion, Dion, Dion. Come on. Look at this. Look at Josh Gordon here. Wide open. Look at me. Look at me try to throw the ball. Let's check that out. So, looks like he's about to release the ball. Arm coming forward. Arm is pretty much all the way forward. And uh, he gets a hit animation before Dion even touches him. That's fantastic. Exactly how I want to end my drive. Wide open receiver. The game fucks me again. That's going to be a beautiful punt. Somebody down it! You fucking idiots! What is this team? Look at these guys, dude. It's a beautiful punt. Perfect spot. Sky kick. Exactly what I want. Look at this goddamn fucking idiot, Akella Witherspoon. Not only does he run away from the ball, he blocks Calhoun from getting to it. Who was going for it. Runs away. Takes out a fucking player and the ball goes into the end zone off the bounce. Akella Witherspoon, this is why you're benched behind two shit rookies. That's the, uh, that's the reality. Three shit rookies if you include Willis Burdine, who has never made a play on this team. We're getting there with Ruben Foster. It's a play action. Get after the quarterback. That's my responsibility. Dante Monfrey breaks a tackle. Try, we're going to go for the ball. I did not do that well. Okay. Fuck. It is one thing after the next with me and not being able to capitalize on situations. I left up my zone because I thought it was a run for sure. Made a lot of sense to run the ball in that situation. And of course they didn't. And of course David Johnson breaks tackles on my entire fucking team. We're right there. Of course we're not. Of course we're not. The 1-7 and seven Cardinals are up 24-7. to seven. This would be quite the comeback if we did it with two minutes to go here in the third. Um, you know, crazier things have happened. There's Sanchez Heaney. That's a good block. Oh my god, I thought he was going to break that. We are set up in tremendous field positioning. We have to capitalize. We have to score on this drive. No bones about it. There it is. George Kittle. Someone pick up that block. George Kittle could be gone. Janu, you... 
I need you to be faster, Janu. I need you to be faster, because that's a touchdown. If Janu Smith picks up that block, that's a surefire touchdown. And uh, we can't. We're going to go short there. Janu Smith drops the ball. Get off the field! You're terrible! Costing us a touchdown on pretty much back-to-back -back plays. Jimmy Garoppolo. We'll throw that ball. It's Kittle. Kittle, touchdown. Should have gotten it earlier, but there it is. George Kittle. First receiving touchdown on the year. We are still in this game. Clearly, we are still in this game. It's a run. Nope, 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 nope. I'm trying to get there. I'm trying to get there. Birdie, make the play. Uh, never, never can. Pinch, pinch, pinch. They're not pinching. Oh my goodness, great play, Aaron Lynch. Going to make this 27 to 14. Going to make it essentially a two touchdown game. Six minutes to play after the field goal goes through if they kick this quickly. Which they might not. And they're not. They're waiting. Are they going to take up this entire clock? No, they're not. This is not a 49ers offensive line that's ever going to make any Pro Bowls. By the looks of it. Third and three. That's wide open in the flat. I saw it. I saw it. I can't believe I saw it. Juice check. All right. Doing his job. That's the only reason why we kept him on the team is for situations like that where we have no other options. He comes in, makes the play. First and ten. I was going to go right back to him. I'm going to throw that ball. Jonu Smith dropped the ball again. Uh, maybe for the best in that situation. I don't know how I could even say that, but maybe. I'm going to need Orleans Darkwood to stay in and block. Probably. Because they're sending pressure. I'm going to go Kalan Adkins. Down the sideline. Look at Kalan Adkins. He did not get out of bounds. Clock is still ticking. All right. Let's get out there. Let's make some plays happen. We're going to run that. Sanchez Heaney could be open on the... No, we're going to throw that underneath. It's Kalan Adkins. Tried to get out of bounds. Not hard enough, apparently. This clock, again, still ticking. Kalan Adkins comes in and makes plays, though. You got to love it. We're going to slant him again. Johnny Smith is going to be my flat option. And we're going to throw it. Kalan Adkins. It's a Kalan Adkins show. We're throwing to him literally every play. I'm fine with it. He keeps getting open. That's what we need. That's what we want. That's what's going to keep us uh, keep us in this game. As we're going to block multiple. Throw it underneath. There's Sanchez Heaney. That would have been a huge stiff arm. All right. On the 13 now. We're going to try to run the ball. It's Orleans Darkwood, though. I don't really have a lot of faith in him. I got, like, my worst players in right now. How are we going to do this? We're going to streak Kalon Adkins. We're going to go to the flat. Jonu Smith. He got out of bounds. If he didn't, he might have scored a touchdown. Might have. Cummings here. Joey Cummings. Stiff arm. Okay. That's a great individual effort from Joey Cummings. We are down to the three-yard line. Third and goal. They are stacking. Josh Gordon could be open on the slant. Josh Gordon, touchdown! Wow. Pressure came in really quickly. Thankfully, Josh Gordon beat his press really quickly. And the extra point should make this uh, a one-touchdown game. I mean, either way, it would have been a touchdown game. But a touchdown for us now wins, provided we can get a stop, which has been so difficult to do for us this entire game. We need to beat this team. Operation, it's not even shut down David Johnson. It's shut down Carson Palmer. David Johnson's made some nice individual plays today against a swarming San Fran defense. But um, for the most part, I mean, we've been absolutely torn apart by Carson Palmer, who must be very close to 40 years old in this particular franchise. Second and one. Pinch that defensive line. I don't know why my interior didn't move at all. Please, oh, do we stop him? That's going to be very close to a first down in the two-minute warning. It's going to be third in inches. We need to stop him in the backfield. We might commit to the run here because if they get the first down, we're going to have to stop him again regardless. We're just going to have to make a good play. I'm not going to run commit. Get there, get there, get there. Try to make an insane play. Stop him. He gets the first down. Tackle the bet about midfield. We're not going to call a timeout on this play. Although it would probably be a decent idea. We're going to save it for this set of downs. 
First and ten. They're going to run the ball. Obi Melifanu in the backfield. You got to fumble, David. You got to do one for the boys. You got to fumble. Here's a run. Get there, Reuben Foster. All right, stopped in the backfield again. Timeout. This stop is so crucial. If they run the ball, which they probably should, we will get the football back. It's going to be a run. Stop him off the middle. There's a shedded block. That block was shed nicely by Reuben Foster. It is fourth and nine. It's going to be a one-minute drill for Jimmy Garoppolo. That is a tough one. Andy Lee, the punter. And Phil Dawson is the kicker. So you got these San Francisco 49ers of old back together of like the 2013 team. Hook them warrants to Phil Dawson, by the way. One minute exactly to work with. Play action, Jimmy Garoppolo. We're going to throw outside. It's going to be Josh Gordon. Breaks a tackle. Injury timeout. It was a, uh, a Cardinal. We're going to go deep though. Sanchez Heaney, could you imagine? We took a chance. We took a dangerous shot downfield and it would have paid off big time had we actually completed it. When you got that amount of speed, sometimes you got to utilize it. And we're going to go to the flat. Joey Cummings is wide open. I needed a block there. Get to the sideline. 40 seconds to go. Come on. I'm going to throw it to Joey Cummings. That is a such that is such a bad throw. Hold on. How do I spike the ball? It's B. It's definitely B. I, I clicked the wrong thing. Can't spike it at this point. We're just going to have to go deep. That's open over the middle. I just needed an incomplete pass. Nine seconds. Okay. Um, I'm not even sure what to do here. All right. Hopefully looking for either Orleans Darkwa or Johnny Smith. If not, likely throwing the ball away. We had to throw it quickly. We had intercepted. It would have been a sack or a pick. Chose to maybe make a play. Uh, tough loss. Tough loss. We'll break it down in the replay. Uh, what I was going for here. So... My thoughts was Janu Smith could go out of bounds. Oh, uh, and Orleans Darko would have been open. It would have been a safer throw, and he probably would have gotten to the outside. But as you can see, VJ Poole is beaten nearly immediately. And uh, Trent Brown also beaten nearly immediately. So at this point, I'm freaking out. I'm like, I have to throw the ball. I didn't have time to look at the field and make the throw. I barely got it off as it was. Orleans Darko still open. That was definitely the correct throw to make for the coverage. I didn't even see anyone at that time. I was just looking at the uh, the pass rush. And uh, couldn't get the throw off to be accurate to the open receiver in time. And, uh, yeah, if I, t if I took a sack, it would have been game over anyway. But uh, we're going to drop a game here to the 1-7 and seven Arizona Cardinals. Record isn't everything in Madden. I mean, they're an 84 overall to our 76. We're going to drop to, what, 2-4? and four? Same amount of passing yards, more touchdowns. Jimmy G again, classic two interception game. He's going to probably throw like 30 interceptions this year. Next week, we face the Seahawks again, the 6 and 3 Seahawks. Rams lost, so we still could finish second in the division. We still could finish first in the division. Um, a win at the Seahawks would be big. That will be in the next episode. And uh, we need to start having some of our players come up and make big plays. Because it seems like, I don't know, in big key situations, that's when the team crumples the most. And that is not good. But thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. And I will see you in the next one. Take it easy. This shit don't run well. It's fine now.